G'day guys, welcome to Year 9 Beauty. My name is Tanya and I'm your personal guinea pig, but not today because today we're going to do something a little bit different. We're going to do a tag which is the YouTube Made Me Buy It, but we're going to do it a little bit different today because not only am I going to tell you what YouTube made me buy, but I'm also going to tell you what YouTube makes me want right now. So um, if you're interested in this style of video, stay tuned. Welcome back guys. Alright, look, let's just get straight into the video. This is just for a little bit of fun, you know, just something out there. Um, today, instead of just like ruffling through what I've already got um, and, you know, showing it in front of you, I'm, I'm actually going to put a picture on the screen of everything that I'm actually talking about and hopefully, if I'm not too lazy or I don't forget, I'll even put something down below on whether I love it or hate it or whatever. So. Let's start with the things that YouTube made me buy. So one of the things that YouTube made me buy was the ColourPop Fame palette. I saw it and based on the fact that they said that it was a cool tone palette and I'm a cool tone girl, I thought I had to have it and you know what, it's it's my everyday palette now. I absolutely love that palette. It might be boring to some, but I'm definitely happy that I brought that. One of the other things that uh, YouTube made me buy was also from ColourPop and that's the It's My Pleasure palette, which is that little purple one. I love this. I mean, I'm not saying that I can do a ton of things with this because I do have deep set eyes and I also have hooded eyes. So a lot of the time, the looks that I do do, you can't see unless my eyes are closed, <laughs> unfortunately. But um, I do still have a lot of fun playing with it. It's inexpensive. It's lots of fun. And um, yeah, what can I say? Absolutely love it. I don't regret that purchase. The other thing that YouTube made me buy was the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. Now I do have to admit that um, I did buy the Age Rewind first, which is another thing that YouTube made me buy, and I love both. I love both of these. Um, I love to use the Fit Me um, uh, under the eyes now because they've come out with a new shade which is brighter. I used to use the Age Rewind just under my eyes in the Fair the Fair Claire shade. It was a little bit pinky but it still worked but the new shade in the Fit Me one actually works a lot better so now I use the Avery one to just sort of cover up a little bit of patchiness and spots that I don't necessarily want highlighted but just blended in you know a little bit better than what my current foundation does. So I love both of those and I use them both religiously and I will repurchase those. Repurchase those. The other thing from Maybelline that YouTube made me buy was the loose powder. Now in Australia we only just uh, became available for us to be able to buy that and I do love it. And although I do have dry skin I find that it gives me that sort of airbrush sort of look when I really need, you know, that little bit of extra. If you just heard a car pull up and I actually had to stop because my partner just came home from dropping my son's girlfriend off and um, he uh, pulled up to Macca's and got me this, um, what do they call it, a frappe? Um, I don't normally like frappe sort of things and I normally like the um, KFC crushers but recently, uh, actually yesterday, I went to KFC to go and get a crusher and they told me they're no longer doing them and I'm like... WTF. So um, we, we went over to Macca's yesterday and grabbed one of these and I just... Mm. Mm. Look, nowhere near as good as the crushes, but pretty damn good. Uh, this is a this is a coffee one. Hang up. Mm. Oh, he's a lifesaver. All right. Anyway, let's put this. Let's put this back there. You can sit with Chucky. All right. So where were we? Oh uh, yeah. Um, the. Fit Me Loose Powder. In Australia, we only just recently received this, uh, sorry, they only just started stocking it in Australia, and um, so I thought I'd grab myself some, and it's, it's nice. It really is nice. Um, I can't exactly use it underneath my eyes because it darkens, and I don't like it. I'm not about that life. Um, but I do enjoy it when I'm having, like, foundation that's just sort of not doing the job, and I sort of want that airbrush look. Absolutely love it, do have it, and would repurchase it. Um, what else? Hmm. Essence Mascara. Now, oh, YouTube bangs on about Essence. Look, we can get Essence all the time in Australia, and um, it's a pretty cheap brand, and they're okay, usually. Like, they're somewhere along the level of CoverGirl, and, you know, um, mm, you know, Wet n Wild sort of thing, I guess, that uh, I could put, put that on par with. And they're always going on and on and on and on and on about the mascaras. And yeah, I buy the mascaras too, but I never really thought they were anything sort of super spectacular. However, it's because I was getting the wrong one. There is a Lash Paradise, I think it is. I don't know. I'll put a picture up on the screen. This one, if you do two coats of it, it's pretty darn good. All right, next thing. <laughs> Alice sponges. This one, Beauty News, this is your fault. 
but I love you for it. Um, I brought the yellow sponges and I'm not turning back. Now, don't get me wrong, I love my Eco Tool sponge, but I haven't touched it since I brought the yellow sponges, so, um, hmm. <laughs> Looks like I'm converted. Next thing is, is the Juno and Co sponge. My nemesis. Um, YouTube loves this, or a lot of people on YouTube love this. I, however, <sighs> I tried it so many different ways and I'm sure there's going to be people that are going to tell me that I didn't do it the right way but I probably tried using this thing probably about 10 different ways if that's even possible. Um, wet, dry, you, you, look, you name it, slightly damp, um, it didn't work for me. It, it, it's like it sucked all of the moisture out of my foundation or my face or something and just left like this crusty, dusty, powdery, whatever. So anyway. I didn't like it, but it doesn't mean to say you won't. But I, I won't be buying that one again. The other thing is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Primer. I don't know who endorsed it, but I put this stuff on my eyes. And after about seven minutes of it sitting there, it does this thing where it takes my already crepey eyes and it shrivels them up like an old man's ball sack. Now, I'm not saying I've seen an old man's ball sack, so then maybe I'll just say something like, um, show it up cold testicles. It was horrible. Like, it didn't matter what I did. Oh, it, it literally, I wonder if I can find a photo for you guys. It literally shriveled up the loose skin on my eyes. It was horrendous. Um, yeah, nah, no, no, no. So I use the Maybelline Age Rewind as an eye uh, primer. Fantastic. Don't need anything else. I'm almost too intimidated now to try any other sort of eye primers. So yeah. Hmm. The other thing that YouTube made me buy was the NYX Angel Veil Primer. Now it's very difficult for me to find this in my town because it's always freaking sold out. Always sold out. It's like 23 no, $25 and I can never get the stuff. Well, I ended up picking it up and meh, you know, it's okay. It's not like, oh my god, but um, yeah, I'll use it, but it's nothing special, so mm. The other thing that YouTube made me buy is the Mario Badesco spray. Um, yeah, I like this. Not only is it inexpensive, um, it gets rid of that powdery effect on my skin. It's not going to help the longevity of uh, my makeup, but it definitely gets rid of that powdery residue after I have to set my um, foundation and concealer with powder. So I love it for that. And I want to pick up another spray because I've got the cucumber one, which I'm not too much of a fan of the smell of that. So next time I'm going to get the lavender one. So looking forward to that. The other thing that YouTube made me buy, and sort of, um, the brag done about the Becca highlighters, and although I didn't buy like a uh, full size highlighter, I waited until last year's Christmas, not Christmas sales, last year's October sales, and I picked up the uh, Macaroon or Macaron um, 4 mini um, highlighters, and I freaking love them, so I'm very impressed, very happy, and on top of that, at the same time, I also purchased the Wet n Wild. I don't know, um, it's another highlighter, it's a pinky highlighter and it's got a bird on it, I can't remember, Flights of Fancy I want to say, so yeah, so they're all the things that YouTube made me buy and now let's talk about the things that no, YouTube's making me want to buy now. <laughs> Alright, one of the first things that YouTube has made me want to buy is the Ofra Pillow Talk Highlighter. I've heard a lot of things about this, I've even heard Porcelain talk about this. And I want it, but I don't want to spend the money for it, so, eh. There's not really a lot of other things from Ofra that I actually want. Maybe a blush, um, mm, maybe a liquid lip to go with my new series that I'm going to be doing very soon. Um, but yeah, oof, I think it's like $33 or something, but yeah, I suppose I'd never really need another one, would I? Hmm. So, moving on, the other thing that I want is the Cover X... Cover FX Blush Duo. Um, there's two different ones that I want. Um, I'll put them both on the screen for you guys to see. I love them. They are also a little bit expensive too, but they are so freaking gorgeous. Um, is it a... Yeah, it's a blush duo. It's one sort of like a highlighter shade on one side that complements the blush, but absolutely gorgeous. The other thing that I want is the Colourpop Uh Huh Honey Palette, which is the yellow one, and I don't know why I like this, because... I'm not really that much into colour unless it's purple. Um, 
Yeah, well, not on my eyes anyway. My favourite colour is blue, but my favourite colour to have on my eyes is purple, if you didn't notice. Um, I'm just not that skilled, but I don't know what it is. I think I don't know whether it's because of all these other people obsessed with yellow or what. I don't know, but I want it. Um, and it's only $12, so I'm probably going to get it. I just don't know when. <laughs> um, the other thing that I want is the Jeffree Star Lip Scrub. I've heard it's fantastic. I have Jeffree Star Liquid Lips now. And um, although I don't necessarily need it, I want it. I'm not sure which flavour I want yet, but... Um, Hmm, probably one of the fruitier ones. Um, yeah. Uh, I also want some more um, Jeffree Star Velour Liquid Lips. I want the colour Androgyny and Celebrity Skin. I have Calabasas, which is what I'm wearing today. And... What's the other one I have? Oh, I have Christmas Cookie. So, um, I love that too. So, um... The other thing that YouTube is making me want is the Lethal Cosmetics... Awakening Collection. I've heard a lot of good things about Lethal Cosmetics. Lethal Cosmetics. And, um, yeah, and the colours. And, um, I don't know. There's just something about it. I just really want to try their, um, eyeshadow formula. So, yeah. And, um, I'm loving the colours too. Like, they've got this teal colour I could just die for. So, I really, really want that. And, um, yeah. I, I mean, I also want to try a bunch of different sort of brands of palettes as well, because as I said, I've only got four palettes, and I know that's a lot more than what a lot of people have. Um, it's just not enough for me. Like, I want a rainbow palette because I don't have anything that's like that. Like, um, my Colourpop, Colourpop Fame palette is sort of neutrally, um, and my um, It's My Pleasure palette is all purples. Um, I have the I Heart Revolution Violet, uh, Chocolate Violet palette, which... It's got a couple of different shades in it, but mostly purple based. And I have the Zodiac palette, the first one. <clears throat> but I'm not comfortable using it yet. I don't know what it is. It's like the shimmers are just not really... I don't know, they're just not working for me. Um, hmm. So anyway, I want to get some more. And Lethal Cosmetics looks like a good start to me. Um, next thing is the Fenty Gloss Bomb. Yeah. I just want any. Any shade of the Fenty lip gloss or gloss bomb or whatever it is. I don't know. I've seen it on so many people. I didn't want this before, but the more that I've watched, um, you know, YouTube videos and stuff like that, and I've seen it on so many different people, I just want it now. I want it. I don't care which shade. I prefer the, like, slightly pinky one. But, um, hmm, yeah. Moving on, the Viseart Amethyst palette. This looks cute, but I also like the fact that it's compact and, um, I get a little bit um, overwhelmed by large palettes, that's why I haven't gone out and brought anything really big, like um, Morphe palettes, but not just because not just because Morphe's got big palettes, um, I just, I don't know, I, I get overwhelmed and, um, mm, yeah, the Amethyst palette looks absolutely gorgeous and I want it and I want to be able to travel with it and yeah, so it looks cute. And the last thing that um, YouTube is making me want it right now is the Give Me Glow Cosmetics Juicy Olive Palette. This looks stunning. And once again, it's not its not a colour that I would normally just go... In. If I saw this on the store, I'd be like, yeah, okay, whatever. But I don't know. I've seen this on some people. I've seen the swatches. It's, it's gorgeous. It's absolutely gorgeous. And I, I want to play with it. And I don't care if I look stupid in it or not. I want to put it on my face. And <laughs> I just do. So guys, look, they're all the things that YouTube made me buy and all the things that YouTube are making me want to buy now. I'm sure there's more that I haven't sent, but I really don't want to make this video too big. And plus, I'm going to have to do a lot of editing, a lot of pictures on the screen. Um, um, yeah. So if you liked what you saw, um, go ahead, give me a thumbs up. If you want to become part of the crew, don't forget to subscribe. But um, if you do that, don't forget to check the bell if you want to be notified of all my updates. And um, I'd love to know what YouTube made you buy or what is YouTube making you want right now. Is it any of the things that I just mentioned? I would love to chat. Hit me up down below or um, find me on Instagram or Facebook or Twitter or just here. Um, mostly on Instagram though, guys. Like I do a lot of uh, things there. So yeah, say good day, pop by, pop back and um, I'll see you in my next video. Bye.